Christ say good morning to everyone. Good morning, Lord. This is the day that the Lord hath made, and let us be happy and rejoice in it. It is now time for our call to worship. Would you please stand? Our call to worship comes from the book of 1 Corinthians, 15th chapter, verses 57 and 58. 1 Corinthians, 15th chapter, Verse 57 and 58. First Corinthians 15 chapter, verse 57 and 58. Amen. But thanks be to God, he gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Together, verse 58. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Amen. Amen. At this time, we're in uh, the ends of our devotional period and our uh, ministry of music.
let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us.
Amen. We're up to our morning hymn this morning. It's number 385. The solid rock. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness.
devil went and digged in the earth and hid his Lord's money. And so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, thou delivered unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents more together. And the Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Yeah, yeah. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Amen.
heart of the celebration, it is with pride that we welcome Reverend Dr. Tommy McGee, Jr. Uh, to the service this morning. <laughs> Your other announcements are as follows. Uh, services are still pending for Sister Esther Green, more to come. Services will be held for Sister, I believe it's Ardella Williams, who used to live across the street from the church. There will be a graveside service on Friday. More information to come about where that service will be held. Sister Ellis, Sister Lordell Ellis, is at home and in stable condition. <laughs> Reverend Sam Freeman is in rehab, and we hope that he is improving as well. <laughs> Brother Clint McKinney is in service this morning, but he too has had medical issues, and we continue to pray for you, Brother Clint, as well. <laughs> Good morning, Anthony. 
who are present, stand up, stand up if you can, stand up if you can, stand up if you can. Look at that, Sister McKean, look at that. Look at that. Jackie Ross. Jackie Ross. Sister Jackie Ross. You know, Kansas is out there a little bit, too. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, oh, uh, is this the chair of the Jackson? I thought I got it.
this morning, church, we're going to sing a song from Revelation 19. It says, Hallelujah, salvation and glory, honor and power to the Lord our God. I had an opportunity to interview the writer of this song, Minister Jeffrey LaValle. He talked about how this song came about. They were in night service. And um, Pastor Otis Floyd um, said these words, and right then he was inspired to write this song. And this song has gone all over the world. Amen. All over the world. And so I'm, I'm sure some of you know it already, so we're a, we're a congregational choir. And I love to hear you guys sing with us. And so join in with us this morning as we sing Hallelujah, Salvation, and Glory.
God today. I met somebody that I'm claiming as my cousin. <laughs> Another one he. Amen. I'm grateful that he invited us to come today. I want my wife to. You don't have to stand, just raise your hand. Amen. That's my partner, my running buddy. Amen. She didn't feel well today, but she just wouldn't allow me to come without her.
we've given him a place to preach for 38 long years. Father, we thank you. Now we ask that you would bless your word. Let it go forward and not come back forward. Let somebody hear and come to know you before it's everlasting too late. And Father God, we will be so careful to give your name all of the praise and all of the glory. For us in the name of Jesus, we ask and pray. Amen. Amen. I want to direct your attention for a few moments. I will move you on. Matthew chapter 25, yeah. verses 14 through 30. It's the parable of the bags of gold. Yeah. Yeah. Matthew chapter 25, verses 14 through 30. Yeah. Matthew <laughs> chapter 25. That's the New Testament. <laughs> verses 14. Again, it would be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted his wealth to them. To one he gave five bags of gold, to another two bags, and to another one, one bag, each according to his ability. Then he went on his journey. The man who had received the five bags of gold went at once and put his money to work. Yeah. He gained five bags more. Yeah. So also the one with two bags of gold gained two more. Yeah. The man who had received one bag went off, yeah. dug a hole in the ground, yeah. and hid his master's money. Yeah. After a long time, the master those servants return and settle accounts with them. Yeah. The man who had received five bags of gold brought the other five. Yeah. Master, he said, you entrusted me with five bags of gold. See, I have gained five more. Yeah. His master replied, well done, good and faithful servant. Yeah. You've been faithful with a few things. Yeah. Yeah. You've been faithful with 50 years. Yeah. I will put you in charge of many things. Yeah. Come and share your master's happiness. Yeah. The man with two bags of gold also came. Master, he said, you entrusted me with two bags. Yeah. Two bags of gold. See, I have gained two more. Yeah. His master replied, well done, good and faithful servant. I've yeah. been faithful with a few. Yeah. I will put you in charge of many things. Mm -hmm. Come and share your master's happiness. Yeah. Then the man who had received one bag of gold came. Yeah. Master, he said, I knew that you are a hard man, yeah. harvesting where you have not sown yeah. and gathering where you have not scattered. Yeah. So I was afraid yeah. And went out and hid your gold in the ground. Yeah. See here is what belongs to you. Yeah. His master replied, you wicked, lazy servant. Yeah. So you knew that I harvest where I have not sown and gathered where I have not scattered seed. Yeah. Well then, you should have put my money on deposit with the bankers <laughs> so that when I return, I would have received it back the interest. So take the bag of gold from him and give it to the one who has ten bags. For whoever has will be given more, and they will have an abundance. Whoever does not have, even what they have will be taken from them. And throw that worthless servant outside into the darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of cheek. Help me, Lord Jesus. I want to talk up for a few moments today of faithful in service. Faithful in service. 
one thing I've learned over the years as we come to celebrate these 50 years of preaching is that God requires us to be faithful with what we have, not with what we do not have. Today marks a celebration of 50 years of preaching. The story is told of a man uh, from the East Coast who had always dreamed of owning a cattle ranch yeah. and had finally saved enough money to buy his dream spread in Wyoming. All right. His best friend flew out to visit him and he asked him, so what's the name of your ranch? Yeah. His buddy told him that he and his wife had had a really hard time coming up with a name that they liked. Yeah. Since he and his wife couldn't agree on what to call the ranch, they settled on this name. The Double R Lazy L Triple Horseshoe Bar 7 Lucky Diamond Ranch. His friend was really impressed. Then he asked, well, so where are the cows. And the new rancher said we had quite a few, but none of them survived the branding. Hmm. You'll get that in a minute. Yeah. 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 Sometimes when it comes to faithfully serving God, yeah. 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 we make it far more complicated yeah. than it has to be. Yeah. It's possible to get so caught up trying to identify our gifts yeah. that we never get around to using the gifts that God has blessed us with. See, uh, we celebrate today, my friend, 50 years of preaching. Yeah. Uh, but we have to realize that. God has blessed us with gifts yeah. also. Yeah. Yeah. So as we have come to know God is faithful yes, and we can trust in him yeah. and his promises. Yes, right. yeah, 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 yeah. We'll focus on Pastor Haynes today. Mm -hmm. But I come with a question. What have you done to show your faithfulness? Yeah. 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 You see, because God is faithful he calls us to be faithful also. We need to be faithful in our attendance and encourage and, 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 and I encourage us all to make a couple of commitments. Are y'all on prison? Yes, sir. when the church gathers together. Yeah. Secondly, we need a, a commitment to contact those who are missing from our gathering. Yeah. So look around. Yeah. Who you know that's not here today, yeah. who could be here but chose not to be here yeah. because the game is on. Yeah. Are y'all listening to me? I'm listening. Yeah. Today, I want us to work toward being more faithful in service. Yeah. We put it on the pandemic. Yeah. But I put it on laziness. Yeah. We, we got accustomed to sitting back in our chambers. Yeah. Yeah. Are y'all listening to me? Yeah. Yeah. Putting a little breakfast in front of us yeah. and watching church yeah. on TV. Yeah. But I come to let you know God wants us to be faithful to him right. in all Jesus is giving an answer 
uh, to the disciples' questions about his second coming in Matthew 24. Yeah. Amen. When will this happen and what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? Yeah. Jesus then warns them to be on guard so that nobody will deceive them and he helps them understand that once he leaves, he will come again. Yeah. How many of you in here today know Jesus is on his way back? Yeah.
you just keep in mind that these folk uh, that he invested in are servants. They likely don't even draw a salary and don't have uh, much, if any, money of their own. Yeah. I, I'm also amazed that the master doesn't give them any instructions about how to manage or protect the money. Yeah. If all that isn't alarming enough, the master doesn't distribute the money equally. Fairness says that he should have distributed the eight talents by giving each of them 2.66 talents. Yeah. But the master didn't do it that way. Jesus said they were distributed according to their ability. Now, I don't miss that. The talents were distributed according to their ability. Oh, yeah. yeah. uh, y'all not listening. Yeah. So, so we, we will come back to that point you know, in just a minute. In the master's absence, the first two servants went to work immediately and doubled what had been entrusted to them. Listen, take a look back over your life. What have you done with what God has invested in you?
get for the person. <laughs> Simply been entrusted to us. Yeah. 
being faithful in service means using all that God has entrusted to us to his glory. Yeah, yeah. Listen, listen, God holds us responsible for holding up the arms of the man of God. Yeah. Yeah. Pastor Haynes has preached for 50 years, yeah. and he can preach for 50 more. Yeah. He's still a young man. Yeah. Why are y'all listening to me? Don't y'all look at me like that. <laughs> Being faithful in service means using all that God has entrusted to us, to his glory. Yeah. Yeah. We must not selfishly hoard or in any way bear the things he's blessed us with. Yeah. I'm sure that here at Bethany, uh -huh. we have many excellent examples of people who really get the point. Yeah. They are hospitable, generous, and willing to share. Yeah. I was so impressed with the preachers back in the study who ministered to their pastor. Yeah. They didn't mind letting him do whatever he asked them to do. Right. I was so impressed with members that I met as I walked into the church yeah. who were so gracious and hospitable. It tells me that you're using the gift that God has given you for the glory of God. Yeah. Because you see, it's our responsibility to hold up the arms of the man of God. Yeah. Some of you right here, you just put it in your smile. Yeah. You have a smile that just uh, lifts a person's day. Yeah. Some of you have a word that would encourage somebody to go on a little far. Yeah. I sit here and I watch as he recognized those, those of you who have endured a cancer and God has blessed you to make it through yeah. to this day. Yeah. And I know that's nothing but a blessing. Yeah. And as you bless your pastor, yeah. God brings blessings to you. Yeah. As you hold up his arm, yeah. God holds up your arm. Yeah. Listen, listen, if you want to be broke, just keep on hoarding your money. Yeah. If you want to be broke, just keep on hiding your money. Yeah. If you want to be broke, don't do nothing good for nobody. Yeah. Just keep on doing what you're doing. Yeah. And watch yourself. Yeah. Keep on doing with that. Yeah. Oh, y'all listen to me? Yes, sir. I'm talking about faithful in service. Yeah. Faithful in service. Yeah. I was listening, as I said in the study, I was listening to see what game was on today. Mm -hmm. And somebody sitting out there right now, your team is playing. Mm -hmm. And you were thinking, I wish that preacher would hurry up and sit down. <laughs> I want to see the game. You're faithful to your team, but are you faithful to God? You know how to give God your best? Keep holding up the man of God. He can't do everything. He can't be everywhere. He's got to spend some time in his study in the book. He tells me that he studies through the Bible, try every year. That's a blessing. Yeah. But it's a tremendous job. Yeah. Are y'all listening to me? Yeah. It's a job when you have studied all day and, and somebody calls you as soon as you get home. Somebody's sick yeah. and they need you to come by the bedside. Yeah. Listen, listen. Faithful. Yeah. In yeah. Yeah. Faithful. Have you ever looked at that word? Faithful. Yes, Turn it around. Yeah. Full of faith. Yeah. That's what we ought to be. Yeah. Full of faith. Yeah. And when you full of faith, you can be faithful. Yeah. Oh, y'all listen to me? Yeah. You see, the master had given one talent to the five talent man, and then it would not have been good use of. Uh, if he had given five talents to the one talent man, then he would have overwhelmed him and set him up for failure. Yeah, uh, yeah. But because the master knew his servant, he gave each one what he knew that one could handle. Yeah. Uh, my question today is, what can you handle? Oh, uh, are you listening? Listen, listen, can you handle what God has 
for you? Yeah. Do you want to be a singer? Yeah. And be a good steward of your hunger? Yeah. Are you listening to me? Yeah. If you want to be a prayer, yeah. start praying right where you are. Yeah. Pray when you get up in the morning. Yeah. Pray before you go to bed at night. Yeah. Do you want to be a witness? Yeah. Start telling somebody about Jesus. Yeah. Be faithful in service. Yeah. And watch God come to your rescue. Yeah. Am I right, God? Yeah. Listen, I'm so proud of, uh -huh. of these servants. Yeah. That the master left in charge. Yeah. I'm glad that one day he left me in charge. Yeah. I'm glad that he left a free yeah. in charge. Yeah. I heard him say, You are going away, yeah. but I need you to take care of what I'm leaving in your hand. Yeah. I heard him say, be thy faithful yeah. unto death. Yeah. And I will yeah. give you the crown of life. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. I don't know about you, but I come to know yeah. that the Lord will. Yeah. I said the Lord will. Yeah. He'll lead you and guide you yeah. if you let him. Yeah. Be faithful yeah. in your service.
every Sunday. I wouldn't even be with Jackson. I could go somewhere else. He blesses, he blesses, he blesses. If you're here today and you don't know this Christ he preached about, now it's time for you to come. If you're here and you would like to accept Christ as your personal Savior, you're here today and you'd like to make a new commitment to the Master. Now it's time for you to come. If you're looking for a church home, we have a mighty good one here. Whatever your need is, whatever your needs are, now is the time for you to respond to the Word of God. And we've heard a mighty word, a mighty word from the Lord. If you would respond, you can't go home empty. You got something today. You can't say, Amen. We've been fed today. That, that's the kind of that's the kind of food stick to your rear. It'll follow you. It'll follow you to your car. It'll follow you all the way home. If you're here today, you need to respond to that word. Now it's the time to come. So we'll come. Our saints are praying. Church is persevering.
We're going to do this prayer first. This is my home to come. And then follow this prayer. You can respond. As he said, you can't make it. Pray for us. But I sure hope you can make it. I don't want the West Side Church to come in and be empty. So let's come. You can put that thing on the card some kind of way. You can record the game and go back and see it. I want to. Dallas is on the road, and I don't want you to curse Dallas for not being in church. We're supposed to be in church. So. I don't know. I don't know. Thank you. 